Hey guys, Argyle Alligator here, and I'm going to talk today about hunt preparation, what I get before each hunt and how I prepare for each hunt. So without further ado, let's get started. Now when preparing for a hunt, items are definitely some of the most important things you need to consider. Within my item pouch, I always make sure that I carry 10 potions and 10 mega potions. I do this because I use potions for smaller heals and mega potions for larger heals. I always make sure to carry 10 antidotes with me, not only because of the larger monsters that have poison attacks, but there's also a lot of small monsters in different environments that can poison as well. I carry 5 cool drinks with me and 5 hot drinks. You don't have to carry these, but I'm forgetful and I'd rather be safe than sorry when jumping into a hot or a cold environment without one of these. I like to carry 10 deodorants with me as well. In MH4U, it seems like there's a lot more monsters that use stink attacks, and I'd rather have deodorants with me on the hunt. I like to keep a power charm and an armor charm with me as well. They give me additional stat bonuses to my attack and my defense. You can also have a Devil Doe Talon that can be used for an additional attack bonus, but currently I do not have one. I like to keep well done stakes with me as well, to make sure that I get that additional stamina bonus. I like to keep my stamina bar at full as much as possible. I always make sure that I'm stocked up on Moss Wine Jerky. Moss Wine Jerky, if you don't know, can fill a red bar in your health bar to full when you get attacked. This is incredibly useful after a poison as your health is ticking down and that red bar is left. Eat one piece of jerky and that will go to full as long as the red bar is still up. I keep paintballs with me, but I don't always have them on hand. It's not too hard to track the monster by sight, but paintballs do make it easier if they jump additional zones. I carry dung bombs with me as well, just because during a hunt sometimes additional large monsters can show up, and I'd rather them be out of the area than inflicting additional damage upon my hunting party. Farcasters I don't always carry, but they're useful as an oh shit tool, just in case you're taking a lot of damage and can't get out of the zone in time. I like to carry shock traps and or pitfall traps, just because even if I'm not using them to trap a monster, I can use them to throw them down to get my hunting party additional hits on the monster. I carry mega pickaxes and mega bug nets in case I get into a secret area and I need to harvest some nodes. I like to carry a barbecue spit and some raw meat just in case I don't have enough well done steaks so that I can make some on the fly. Whetstones are incredibly important if you're a blade master, but if you're a gunner you're going to want to carry the needed coatings and or shells for your weapon. There are different coatings for your bow that you might need to take with you like poison or power. And for your gunner, you're going to want to see on your weapon, if you're a light bow gun, which ammo you can use as rapid fire, and if you're a heavy bow gun, which ammo you can use in crouch shot. Just viewing the weapon's information will tell you all of this. And I carry 10 herbs just for additional healing, just in case. So that's what I bring along a hunt with me. You can also bring other items along with you in hunts, like max potions and ancient potions, which are very useful in case you get carded during a hunt and can maximize your health and stamina gauges. You can also bring energy drinks, which can replace a well done steak. You can bring life powders, which heal your teammates and yourself if they're in zone with you. You can bring other bombs too, like flash bombs or sonic bombs, that can be thrown if a monster's flying or digging underground. You can also bring barrel bombs to set up while a monster is in a trap or fallen asleep to do some additional damage. There's plenty of other berries too that you can also bring with yourself, like mite seeds which will increase attack or adamant seeds which will increase defense, and null berries which are very useful for getting frenzy off of you. So there's plenty of things you can bring along a hunt, and there's much much more items that will seem useful for different hunts and different variations. But let's talk about some other ways you can prep for a hunt. One thing you should always make sure you do before a hunt is to get a good meal. There's plenty of different ingredients to select through, but you should also be aware of the different fixed skills that they give you and daily skills that they give you. There's incredibly useful ones like Feline Weakener that weakens the monster before the hunt and other things like Feline Oracle that lets you know where the monster is and Feline Foodie that allows you to keep your food stats even if you do get carded. So be aware of these different skills. Before you go on a hunt, you can also place additional requests with Wycoon if you don't already have some going on. This will make sure that you'll get some items going when you come back from the hunt, and multiplying more items with Wycoon will increase the level of each of the different farms that you can have with him. So it's always good to keep these running it as much as possible. Before I go on a hunt, I also like to make sure that my Master Hunters are working, just so that I can keep gaining more additional mats to make more Palico items and weapons. I also make sure that my provisions are at full, 
If my provisions are not at full, I just do additional more hunts to get it up to level 3. When your provisions are at level 3 for your master hunters, that means you can go all the way to the far end of each track. Also prepare for a hunt by setting different equipment. Particular armors will offer different variations of resistances and negative resistances against elements. And weapons will have elements that you can use to exploit the weaknesses of different monsters. However, if you don't have an element on your weapon that the monster is weak to, don't worry. It's just suggested to go with the highest raw damage possible against the monster. And if you only have one or two armor sets and the weaknesses don't vary, don't worry about that either. Just usually equip the armor with the highest defense or the best skill set for what you're trying to accomplish. Also, different weapons can affect the monsters differently. If you're trying to cut off a tail, you're going to want to use a weapon that has more slashing ability. Or if you're trying to break a face or a horn, you're going to want to use something that has a little more blunt to it. So that's how I prepare for my equipment during hunts. Those are all the ways that I prepare for a hunt. There's a bunch of different methods and ways that different hunters have, and there's a lot of other things that I probably haven't covered in this. These are just the things that I wanted to point out, and to make sure that you're ready for a hunt. I'm Argyle Alligator, and happy hunting. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Follow me at Twitter to get in contact with me or more updates, and join my Steam group to be part of the illustrious Swamp Society community. Thanks, everyone.